Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, what's up? Welcome to the quarterfinals of the Losers Bracket, or hell, whatever the hell you want to call it, I don't know. Um, and so on top we have Killed Them From Afar, and then bottom we got OM OMG, WTFFT, BBQ, and yeah, I can pronounce that. Um, introduce them, we got Elka the Summoner, Ella the Priest, Elec the Monk, and Ilio the Lancer. Now for OMG, oh my god, what the Final Fantasy Tactics Barbecue, that's the full thing, we got Evix the Knight, Exony the Ninja, Pandora the Priest, and Dram the Lancer. Uh, I don't need to explain Killed from Afar. I looked at this team a little bit more closely, and now I think about it. Dram with his two hands, so he's attacking from a distance. He use Earth Slash if he's out of range. Uh, Avix, he, he's also meant to attack from a distance. He's basically hoping for Elemental and uh, Status Procs in particular if he's out of range. She, with the lowest HP total, um, enemies are going to be focused firing on her because they enemy the AI has a tendency to go for the units with the lowest HP. She, they're going to focus fire on her. Oops, sorry about that. And she's also got Hamido and all that evasion to bait them into attacking her. And then you got a distance attacker. Um, I noticed they also have overall good bad compatibility, I should say. Bad compat with each other. So I really don't know who to give the advantage to. I'm going to give it, in all honesty, to... Uh, Kill them from afar, just because, as entitled, Summer Magic has been dominating and attack up Monk, very freaking powerful. Uh, shit, I didn't pick the maps. So let me go pick them. Um, what do we got? Uh, let me pick that. Let's do, uh, let's do 40, from the looks of it. What do we got? Slums and Gao, okay. So, yep, this is where Mistadi hands the fake thing to Rudovic, the fake stone, yep. Pretty cool. Uh, I don't know. You could say this is medium large. Whatever the fuck. So yeah, we're gonna begin in Xania with her speed advantage moving forward. And then again, the the slower units they have high mobility to keep up with her, and she's getting uh, targeted right away. Unfortunately, that misses 43 percent. But then again, she does have a mantle, character evasion, and a shield, so it's gonna be very tough to hit her. However, the two nukes. So there they go. Uno. And the mid charge, yep. And the blade grasp, nice. Lucky, lucky, lucky. And wow, so that was like 300 collective damage right there. Stop on her, which is actually going to be, which incapacitates her for quite a bit of the round. Uh, no pokes. Shitty wave fist with back and pat, speed safe. Not the best of ideas, in my opinion. He's almost dead, but it's all right. Let's see. I think he's going to go for Earth Slash and kill two of them. Oh, only kill one. 155. Still very respectable amount of a damage. Yeah, and now it, it puts her on sandbag mode. Who's this shield being targeted on? Okay, that that's that's not a good move to make. Because she was already out of the picture for whatever the duration may be. And the priest focus firing on her was just... It really wasn't a good move. Because she was already disabled to begin with. It's like, why would you do that? It's kind of dumb. It's like focusing on a unit that has Don't Act, who can't do anything. I don't know, but I think that's going to cost, uh, cost, oh my god, what the fuck, bar oh my god, what the Final Fantasy Tactics barbecue the victory. Because now they're all recuperating, they're at HP again. The, the Lancer is quite a bit spread away from his party. Uh, only the Priest can resurrect, and if she does go on sandbag duty, she's going to be, she's going to have to deal with that, and a crit shot to the face too, wow. A little bit lucky right there. But I don't think it would have made. I don't think that crit shot would have made all the difference in the world. But who knows? I, I, you know, like again, because this is a improv, this is on the spot. You're going to be able to see things and rewind and notice a lot of observations I initially wouldn't be able to make. So then again, though, I mean that that's expected from dual commentary, and this speed is fine. I I just don't want to recite every single thing that's literally happening on screen. You know. X is doing Y, this damage occurred, this person got status proc, it's like, fuck that shit, you know? It's, it's really style. And there you go, so, yeah, that, um, I think that summon costed, uh, OMG, WTF, TV, BQ, the victory, but who knows? We'll, uh, see how it plays out in round two. This will make a difference, hopefully, yeah, we'll see, uh, I don't know, I, I really don't know what to say here, I think, uh, kill them from afar, uh, with the fact that they're Summon users are going to go first, they're going to be able to get their turns off, so I think it's going to favor them a little bit, but uh, this initial onslaught looks like it's being targeted on the ninja as opposed to uh, the priest, who's going to be able to start nuking everything. Yep. 
And she's going to be getting her summon off before the, uh, what's it called, the summoner will be able to. And let me get this incline. There we go. A little bit better. Yeah, but see, now this OMG WFT FFT BBQ summoner is going to be able to get her summon off first. It might kill two people. Yep, it kills off the relevant summon uh, summon unit, so it's putting them on the defensive. And there's an attack up Lancer doing his thing, and then there's also the two-handed Lancer, so this is definitely going to favor them. Damage split, okay. And that Monk is probably going to get one shot by uh, Lancer right here. Unless that happens. Well, yeah. Her CT, she's the slowest unit, and I think she's going to get put back down. Yep. H Restore, however, I don't think that's going to make all that much of a difference. Um, she's going to get mid-charged, 128. And Elec, I mean, he might kill the Lancer right here. Nope, he's going to go on Sandbag Duty. Okay. Well, Summoner gives her free reign to, looks like, target the Lancer, it looks like. Her Slash of his own, okay. I, th I would have just gone for the attack on the Monk. Because the Monk would have died, and I think the Lancer would have died too. Or at least put him in Critical. One unit dead, one unit in Critical. Because it wasn't targeted on the uh, Priest. Oh, it was. Jesus. Wow. So two, both of them dead. Not bad. Headbreak. <laughs> nice. Even though he didn't have a headbreak. Just an insult to injury and damage split. Yep. So this is definitely going to be... We're definitely going to be going to a round three in just a bit. This definitely favored them. Because close quarters... Again. They're more close quarters oriented. Kill them from afar. Kill them from a distance. Unless she can do something like that. Nope, they're still alive, the physical damage dealers. I still think it's in their favor. I think the Lancer's going to get a two-handed poke and kill someone. Yep. Oh, she dodged with a blade grasp. Lucky shot. And the jump. Oh my god, no way. Wait, it depends. Alright, so one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Oh, you fucker. Alright, damn, that was close towards the end. That summoner. Oh, fucking A. I thought they had that. Damn. Alright, so I guess uh, beyond my expectations, once again, Killer from Afar is going to be moving on, and... Oh my god, what the Final Fantasy Tactics BBQ? Looks like, um... You're going to be dealing with Satan himself, and maybe you can roast his ass, who knows? Um, yeah! See you guys for uh, Match 57.